As you all know, um, we had in 2011 a major crisis in this uh, sub-region uh, that resulted in famine in certain parts uh, of, of, of the region, specifically in Somalia. Um, since then, the situation has improved, much due to the response of uh, many UN agencies, including FAO, in partnership with others, and uh, as well as NGOs and governments. Uh, but the situation remains critical in the in the sub-region. There are still considerable numbers of uh, of uh, families and people who are in need of humanitarian assistance. Uh, the crisis actually also generated a very strong momentum for increased action, uh, concerted action by different uh, actors in the region uh, to address food insecurity and hunger, and address. The, the issue of the impacts of uh, recurrent droughts in the sub-region through an, an agenda that is more medium long term uh, looking into building the, the resilience of the lively of the, 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 the communities and the livelihoods um, of people especially those in the lowlands of uh, and the dry lands of the Horn of Africa. Uh, part of the the solutions to the more quick solutions to address the, the situation has to do with upscaling some of the good practices that uh, are taking place in the region. We know that there are some very good work being done by many organizations in the sub region, uh, and that if this work is shared and it's upscaled, it's brought to scale, then we can get quick impacts um, in the fight against anger. And uh, that's the reason why we are organizing this Agri uh, share, uh, share Fair. Uh, it is also a by demand from governments in the sub-region who have expressed uh, the wish to see more in um, a way of exchanging uh, information and good practices. And we are bringing many actors to this Share Fair, including governments, uh, stakeholders, private sector and non-state actors, to share some of the good work that they do in different countries, uh, sharing it across countries. Um, and, and of course with the objective of picking up on some of the key practices that can be upscaled and that can generate quick impact um, in, in addressing hunger and, and food insecurity. This is certainly true. Um, definitely these practices are working in a certain context, uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, some of them are really transferable. They, they, they can be uh, brought across, across borders because there are quite, there are a very um, high level of simil similarities also in terms of uh, the livelihoods uh, of this, the so-called eco Somali ecosystem, for instance, which is really an ecosystem that cuts across Kenya, Somalia, uh, the southern part of, uh, of Ethiopia, the northern part of Kenya. They have a very similar kind of uh, environment and livelihoods and production system. So some of, some of, the, some of the good uh, practices in one country can easily be transferable to other countries. But of course, uh, we have to be mindful of the context of the political, the economic, uh, the economic context. If you come to the share fair, you expected to see a, a number of uh, of, um, of practices, of experiences, um, a very uh, a great variety of those. We are also expecting to see some uh, innovative approaches, some innovations, some out of the box um, solutions and, and and possibilities, which, if embraced and, and and taken up to scale, can really help the whole uh, agenda of, of of fighting hunger and malnutrition, which is quite. Um, a wide, a wide one and quite challenging.